right, hello and welcome. This is officially episode 44 of the Within Range podcast with your boys, Don Juan and Jared Suter. Um, Jared, to say we have a good one today is definitely an understatement. Understatement for sure. Legend in the building. Absolutely. AZ legend. On top of that, uh, all three of us, I guarantee, would pass a sock check right now. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't going to catch us slipping. I got that. Summer 69 Uncle Rico's on right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Classic. Classic. Right there. <laughs> Yeah, man. But also, too, we, it's only right we shout out Joey602 because Joey602 was the one who put us on to the man. So we're going to talk about him later in the pod. Friend of the pod. Yeah. Shout out Joey602. But man, he just kept saying my homie Lazy Dub throughout the <laughs> whole episode. So knew we had to get him on. We're talking artist, actor, producer, writer, entrepreneur. Hustler. Hustler. Mer- he's got merch. Businessman. He's on tour. I mean, well, the list goes on. Sheesh. The list goes on, man. Listen, what else? 15 plus years in the game, representing the west side of Phoenix, Maryvale specific. We are here with the one, the only Lazy Dub. Man, I appreciate you guys having me. Man, thank you for coming on. This is an honor, for sure. It's an honor for me, bro. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. We got some good stuff coming up. I feel it. I feel it in the air. Yeah, same. Yeah, we've been waiting for this to happen. And, you know, we uh, Joey, again, was the one that kind of put us on. And, and I'll, I'll tell you some direct quotes because I reached out to Joey and I said, hey, the boy's coming on. I said, I know y'all, you know, go back a little bit. What can you share with us or, or from what your experience with Lazy Dub? He said, and I quote, one of the guys who held big Mexican groups back in the day. Sheesh worldwide was another term or word he used Dang. and then the, and then the last one was one to always keep it real hey salute to joy 602 i appreciate you man and, and those are all you know i mean pretty solid statements and i, I will stand by those perfect all right, how does that make you feel man i mean do you feel like you know um as long as you've been in the game and in your career trajectory um you know and, and what you've been able to see phoenix grow into how do you feel like you know your your stance is in it and, and your impact Overall, my thing is, is is like if I could hustle and I, I can motivate and I can help other artists, I'm down with that. Because really, yeah. I got into the business or into this stuff, really trying to help my homies. And oh, I mean, wow. I was I was more in the business end mm. than actually trying to be the star. I didn't want to be the star. You know, what I mean, I want to jump on a track here and there, but I never. If you see a lot of my music. I don't have a lot of tracks where it's just me. I've noticed that. Yeah, you There's, do a lot of collabs. We yeah, noted a lot that. Of collabs, yeah. Yeah. Very a lot collaborative. Of collabs. Yeah. Yep. One of the reasons is because it's like I like to hear different voices on the track. I don't want I don't want to get bored on the track. Yeah. Now I like some tracks where it's just the the one artist. Yeah. yeah. But also it's like I didn't get in it to be a star. You know, I mean that's not what I wanted to do. I just hey I jump. I, I like music. I've always been a fan of music. Uh, it just came natural. But I didn't want to be that star and then on top of that like i don't know i just i don't i have so many stories i keep it really real with my music so it's like yeah i can only say so much you know i can't make a thousand songs about the same thing yeah so you know that's cool man i feel like that brings a different like value to the listener too because it's like certainly if there's an artist you like and you like their style and you know it's always exciting to see new music from them but for you it's like if they like your style they know that you're bringing one to three friends with you on every track and they yeah. know they're going to find something new and that just gives them a whole new like avenue to explore for other artists too it's like it's, it brings a whole new value to listener too not just your friends like that's that's really cool man yes well especially when i can throw like a, a joey 602 yeah. or, or a chris coke or you know somebody else yeah. plus, yeah, plus yeah, somebody somebody who, who else who is known so it's like you know it just gives that leverage and you know i mean everybody gets to shine you know what i mean yeah that sounds that's awesome. what it seems like you enjoy is i mean you know again you just said well i'll get the shine but i i like seeing other people get it yeah we can all win yeah we can let's all go win. where's that come from a lot of people are selfish out there i think they think it's a, a very much a zero-sum game which you know with money a little bit to an extent we keep printing but you know what i mean they think it's anything that that someone else gets takes from them and that's not necessarily true i mean there's plenty out there like where, where does that come from for you what how do you get there yeah it's it's not true nobody nobody can't stop my blessings you know nobody can't stop your blessings whatever yeah. is meant for you is meant for you whatever is meant for me is meant for Man. me so it's just me just, you know, I mean, being around people and, and observing like the psychology and everything and just like, yeah, I see the crabs in the bucket mentality. I've seen this my, like my whole, like coming up in Phoenix, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I haven't seen too many people helping each other and trying to put each other on. Facts. Everybody wants to be the one. Facts. I want to be the one to put AZ on. I want to be the one. So it's like, instead of everybody working together and, and trying to lift up the person who may be the one, they want to be the one. So yeah. it's yeah. like, 
come on, bro. We'll all have our opportunity. Let's help each other, lift each other up and make it happen. And then hopefully we can bring each other with, you know what I mean? But Man. a lot of people ain't like that. Man. And and well, it's well, talked man. about that, you know, people are willing to collaborate and they want to do it, but we, we don't see a lot of it. But to you, from what we see you doing, you, you definitely are, man. Right. So. No, definitely just like anybody knows, especially like Arizona artists. If an Arizona artist hits me up and they want to work with me, now it's like, okay, look, I don't mind, but I, you got to understand, I got to take time away from my family. You know what I mean? I got to take time away from whatever else I got going on to do this. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. I will help, but you got to be doing something with this. So not any little, you know, rapper that's trying to rap, and I shouldn't say little, not any rapper who's trying to rap, somebody just jumped in the game like, oh, I'm going to make a record. I'm going to get a feature from this guy. He said he'll do it for free and it's going to blow up and I'm going to get rich. Yeah. That's not how it works. Yeah. So if you're not trying to shoot a video, you're not trying to like like pay for quality studio time, mm -hmm. if you're not trying to do all of that stuff, then I'm not going to give you a free feature. You know what I mean? You yeah. have to push the record. You know what I mean? But I don't mind, hey, I'll help you with resources. You need a studio to go to, I'll, I'll give a recommendation. You need some beats. I mean, you're looking for some beats, I can give you a recommendation. I can't, I can't help anybody. Like, I can't put anybody on and make you famous. Yeah, you can but, only facilitate. Yeah. I, yeah, but I can help you and point you in the direction that you may want to go. Just like nobody can't make me famous. My hustle has to make me. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I deal a lot with Mr. Capone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he's, yeah. He's, he's got, you know, he's got a good audience. You know what I mean? He's been in the game a long time. But there's nothing that he can do to just make me blow up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have to do it myself still. Yeah. He can give me resources. Right. He can help me out. But I still have to do it myself. You know what I mean? There's nothing he could do. So any rapper that's running around looking around saying, oh, if I could get signed, if I can get signed, you still got to put in the work. Have it to. don't matter. Have look, to. At, look at Willie North Pole. He got signed. DTP. Ludacris. Shout out Willie, yeah. Yeah. I think it was a dope album. It he was. A dope it was album. incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Hood Dreamer, B.O.B. on there. Ooh. You had uh, Body Marked Up. You had all yeah. that. You brought, brought Luda to the hood, dude. I mean, he brought right. Luda to South Phoenix. Yeah. 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 It was crazy. You know what I mean? But what happened? Yeah. You know what I mean, it just it didn't work. I don't know. I don't know the 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 logistics of it, but it didn't work. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? heard of all the yeah. So he went and stayed with Fifty for a little bit, and mm -hmm. then it sounds like there was some beef, and some guy potentially fabricated a story about him. But yeah, that's yeah. I get it. Yeah, I wasn't there. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Same. You know same. I mean? Same. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like, but the thing is, everything was in play. Yeah. So if that was his blessings. He would have got it. Evidently, it just wasn't his time and it wasn't meant for him. Right. You know I mean, that's all I could say. But yeah, I like the album. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Classic. 100%, dude. It's a great, great piece of work. Good, good representation. Yeah, that's cool, though. But I mean, when you have that mentality, that, that makes sense. So that's what result is. Why wouldn't I help someone else on their journey if I got my own thing yeah. going and I, you happen? We had this, we're at the same pit stop. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? But you want that reciprocity and effort, too. It's like, okay, I'm going out of my way. Like you said, I'm taking time away from my family. You got to be doing something with that. And right. you're happy to share. Right. If you're putting effort towards it, then then I'll put effort yeah. towards it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, I don't mind helping. Like I, I met a guy at the airport today. He, you know, I mean, this, this guy, he was a cool guy. You know, what I mean, he seemed yep. like maybe uh, you know, he was an older guy, but you know, what I mean, he was uh, like man, how would you even say it? Um, he was just a cool guy. You know, what I mean, he was yeah, a cool yeah. guy. You know, what I mean, he he seemed like a great fan, and he would be a great fan, and just he started talking to me. I actually started. I was I was on live on TikTok live, and he just he like kind of like came over and started oh, no talking way. to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I like you know what I'm gonna jump off my live and give this guy some of my time. That's awesome. Yeah, 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 because he you know he he seemed like I don't know just the energy. Yeah, you know? I mean, and it's sure. like. Like I made that dude's day. You know, what I mean? I'm like oh, yeah. he, he asked me about my hat. He asked me about. Uh, you know what I mean? Like my music and this and that. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know what? I got a hat. I said, it's used. You know what I mean? I, I wore it this weekend. I yeah. said, but you know what? Because he asked me where to get one. I said, oh, well, on my website. But check this out, bro. I got a hat in my bag right here. I got an extra one. You can have it. Man. He was like, man, like for real? I'm like, yeah, no problem. No problem. So, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then uh, I took off. I went to the restroom. I came back out. And he's like, you know what? Here, you had the hat back. I'm going to buy one from the website. Nah, bro, you can buy one too if you want. Keep the hat. But as yeah. a matter of fact, I dug in my bag. Here's a shirt too, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, made that Blessing. dude's day. Yeah, made that dude's day. You know what I mean? And, and it's like, I don't know how many people would have went out of their time to talk to this individual. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they would have been like, who's this guy or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, he didn't look like your ordinary fan of hip hop. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, like, right. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like, 
but it's like, hey, homie, you know what I mean? Like, and to me, in return, that makes my day. Oh, that sure. I made somebody else's day. You know yeah. what I mean? To me, that's so dope. And Did he's you, gonna go yeah. ten, tell ten people about who you are and how nice you were, and that right. that interaction spreads. Like that's your brand too. That's all part of the branding. It's not just the look. It's right. it's how you act and your standards you hold yourself to. But even at that, that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm looking for. Right. But that's the added bonus. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You're not doing it for that. Yeah. Right. No. No. Extra yeah. Perfect. Definitely not. But yeah, it's just like that's and that's a thing. It's like why why not do the good thing because it, yeah. it multiplies, dude. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a good segue to your brand. You could see us repping the shirts here. That's right. Uh, that's he doesn't. Right. He doesn't just bless people at the airport. He blesses. Blessing us. He's blessing us, blessing too. us too, man. Um, but yeah, we did. We did our, our homework and we saw the shirts and the snapback line. You got talk to us about, um, you know that that brand and, and the and the clothing uh, direction. Man, I've been doing. I've been doing shirts for a long time. Like like realistically, uh, man. Let, let's take it back. Um, let's go. When I was in prison, I was like. I'm not really religious, you know what I mean? Like, like to each their own. If you believe, mm-hmm, you sure. believe, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I check out a lot of different religions and I take pieces from everything. Spiritual, maybe, yeah, something like <laughs> something that, like that, something yeah. like that. Fair. You know what I mean? Uh, so either way, but you know, what I mean, I was just like, you give me something, you know, what I mean, to the universe or God or whatever you want to, you know, call it. Um, you give me something that I could hustle and I could sell, like. I don't know what we could really say on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, no, say, you could say we could say whatever you want. Any, any sort yeah, of I commercial. Could, goods and services. Yeah, yeah. Good, goods, goods and services. The goods that I would use to sell. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If you could give me something like that that I could hustle like that, mm-hmm. then I don't got to do that. I said, but that's my talent. Yeah. That's my talent is hustle. I could rap a little bit. I could do this a little bit. I could do that a little bit. But I'm not great at nothing but hustling. Hustling. That's what I'm great at. <laughs> so that's awesome. fire. And, and it's tripped out. So so when I got out of prison, you know, I mean, I had a little money stacked up or whatever, and uh, I come across the penny saver. If you remember the penny savers, why does that sound familiar? Yeah, why did? Yeah, I don't. I don't well, know. Okay, so so a penny saver is like the uh, is like a little like a like a newspaper. Okay. That they used to have. You know, I mean, in, in Phoenix, and uh. uh Kind of like a news times a little bit. Okay, okay, like okay, t- okay but, but like yeah. a smaller, was like a free one or something or yeah, like super it was, cheap. It was, yeah, yeah, no, it was just it, it was, was a free one. Okay, yeah, but they would run like classifieds in there. Yeah, okay. Oh. So I came across this guy selling t-shirt equipment, and that's something that that I came across before I went to prison. It was something that kind of like intrigued me. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? And he was talking about classes on teach you how to do it and all of that stuff. Wow. So I was like, man, you know what? That's it. There we go. You know what I mean? Like, wow. like I got to get in the t-shirt game. That's that's what I'm going to do. Plus, on top of that, I was getting back into the music as as it was. So it's like, it, every, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that, I took that as a sign and I I went and I, and I linked with the guy and because he was selling the equipment, but he, I was like, bro, you got to teach me how to use this first. And he didn't really know how to use it. So it was like, he was in some kind of like, man, what is it? Like a, like a, uh, <laughs> Ponzi type oh, like a yeah, like a yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, with t-shirt making yeah yeah, okay, well, yeah well selling the supplies because he came out here from California I guess he was getting scammed by some guy from California oh, snap. and he came out here with a warehouse and he had equipment but he didn't have a whole big stock or nothing so it's like I started learning and teaching him how to do it you oh know what shit <laughs> yeah. how the table student turned on that yeah the student becomes a master <laughs> exactly. yeah I love that that's awesome Man, so I, I always like, you know, I feel like a lot of where we all come from helps us become who we are. And so yeah. we've had other artists on here that are from Maryvale, mm-hmm. and we see similar ties to the hustle, the ambition. Um, I guess, you know, if you can talk about, I guess, maybe your childhood and your upbringing a bit, and maybe some early influences on that kind of made you what you are today, more or less. Like, be a little bit more specific? Like, so, like, um, I guess, was there was there a pivotal moment, like, at, at your young age when you were like, man, like, this is the direction I want to go in? Or, you know, was there a point in your life where, like, you knew you had to make a, I guess, a turn or a page to be kind of where you're at now? Not necessarily. You know what I mean? Like, the hustle just came to me ever since, ever since I was a kid. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, I would always, like, even whether it's Nintendo games or, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, sports cards. You know what I mean? Like, like I didn't live uh, too far from the uh from the uh the swap meet the Glendale swap meet oh yeah yeah so it's like 
man, I'll cruise over there. I was like eight years old walking over there. Probably shouldn't even like, Get man, out of here. Be, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, if my if my kids were trying to do that, like, oh my God. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt. Yeah. But, but I was, it was different back then, though. It's different. My, my parents would say, well, yeah. Me out. yeah, but I was taking off, crawling through a hole to get in for free at the, at the Glendale swap meet, hitting up the little, the little card spots, and I'll buy the packs. And then, I mean, like, I, I would get the good ones and slang them and then get more. And then the just you like, get the jersey card in the pack, dude. Oh, that was yeah. The best. Yeah. That was the best. Yeah. Yeah. I used to get the, I used to get the hub above ones anything that i found that i that i could make money off of you know yeah. what i mean like I, I was on it even from a kid you know what i mean because i was less fortunate you know what i mean i came from you know what i mean single mother yeah. a home of a single mother you know what i mean it's me my brother my sister you know sometimes my cousins you mm -hmm. know what i mean it's just it, it it was rough you know what i mean we were on welfare you know what i mean we didn't we didn't have much and you know what i mean it's just like you know, I had to. You had to make I mean, do. Yeah, I had to make do. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I remember starting like junior high, I had like one shirt and one pants. You wow. know what I mean? You know what I mean? Wow. Or actually two shirts, two pants, and I would alternate, you know what I mean? And make it make it work. You know what I mean? Like it was just so I had to hustle. So, yeah. you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess for me, it's like just generally faced with hard decisions. You either choose, though, it's either going to be the thing that defeats you. Like so you could easily make an excuse for that situation of not doing anything you know what i mean mm -hmm. and you've made the complete opposite choice and it just completely fueled you to do it man that's awesome yeah definitely definitely why well, it took me down the road you know what i mean to you know what i mean like a lot of crazy stuff you know what i mean because you know what i mean like everything can like... we talk about some of that crazy <laughs> stuff Is yeah. that right? of course you know, of course because <laughs> we because we yeah. learned and I, I mean i know i was interested i think jared you were as well but you've been in a legit shootout before well, shoot, I've been in all kind of stuff, bro. <laughs> bro, so like I, I can't, give us some highlights. Yeah, give, yeah, us a, yeah. give us a, a Lazy Dub Top 10 Sports Center. <laughs> Man. Like, legit, like, I mean, someone was, was coming for your life. Oh, yeah. I got shot at, at uh, 17 years old. I got shot right there on uh, 35th Avenue and Grand. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, uh, man, I had, uh, <laughs> I had did something the night before. <laughs> and, and I came up off of something else, you know what I mean? But this had nothing to do with where I was, well, what my incident was. Okay. So we were going to go get rid of that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, as a matter of fact, shit. The product. Yeah, it, is, yeah, it wasn't a product. We can speak was, in euphemisms. Yeah, yeah, it's no, okay, no, no, this, this one's all right anyways, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Okay, this yeah. is not me telling on myself, you know what I mean? Like, nobody even really knows. So I came up off some rims off a car, and uh, the night before, and me and the, homie, the homies, we were going to go get rid of actually it was me and the homie got the rims so it was ours we were gonna go get them but we had a few other homies with us so it's it's kind of crazy too because like i don't i don't smoke so that day i happened to like hey the homies hey hit it, whatever, whatever. yeah <laughs> and, and i and i and i did so i was just a little lightheaded or whatever no excuses or anything like that it yeah. didn't change my mind or anything yeah, but yeah. it was just like that was kind of a random thing that, that okay adds to the story yeah, yeah sure <laughs> you know what i mean which even at that this is strange too is because my mom's diabetic right oh wow. so she wasn't feeling good that day so it was like before i left the house i went and i got her some orange juice and you know what i mean like Man. get her get her you know what i mean right you know what i mean with the blood sugar levels and everything and then I don't really give my mom a kiss or anything. So I gave her a kiss on the forehead and said, I love you, mom, you know what I mean, when I left. And then that's when I went to the homies' house. I was supposed wow. to pick up my other homies, but we were running late. And then I picked up the other homies and then we're going to go, I, I hit the weed and then we're going to go do what we're going to do. I was just going to run to the other homie. Hey, can, can we get these off? You know what I mean? This and that. You know what I mean? But so I'm pulling out on a, well, I, I, there's more to the story. <laughs> <laughs> so on 47th Avenue in Indian School, there's Westside Liquors. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, back, uh, they changed it now. It's not Westside Liquors no more. And there was actually an AM PM right there oh, okay. on, on the corner. So either way, I pull out because I went to Westside Liquors and I got a Dr. Slice. If you remember Dr. Slice. Oh, yeah. Old school shit. Yeah. And uh, back when the, the you get the phone, uh, like the 32 ounces for like 47 cents. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. Prices so, went up since then. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah, real, real. <laughs> when I was in high school, Circle K had the refillable like 32 ounce, oh, 64 ounce. You could just come in and refill it once you bought Jeez. it. Yes. Yeah, they don't do that no more? I don't, I don't think, think. I don't so. know. Maybe not. I'm, I don't dabble as much with the soda. <laughs> hey, real, real talk. I don't drink soda no more can't, either. Can't be doing it. Right. Yeah. So either way... Uh, and I got I got a, uh, some hot Cheetos and, and a Dr. Slice. The homies probably got some drinks too or whatever. But and so I pull out, and as I'm pulling out on the Indian school going eastbound, um, some fool I see some fools in the Regal. They're kind of like looking at it stupid and shit like that. So I'm like, all right, you know what I mean? Like as you up? were leaving? Yeah, yeah, as yeah, I was leaving. Okay. So okay, I pull out and we're we're going we're going eastbound together. So 
I'm eating my hot Cheetos. I, I actually, I didn't, I dropped my straw. I dropped my oh, straw shit. to my drink. So we're going, so I didn't drink my drink. And uh, we get to about, uh, actually we get to 40, like getting close to 40 feet, like right after we pulled off. Yeah, so and you I turn, seen them. Yeah, you turn yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my homie actually says, hey, should we go get the strap? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. We're just going to the other homie's house real quick. We just, you know what I mean? We're it's good. unnecessary, yeah. Yeah, but after, our, we already kind of seen these fools in this other car. Right? Oh, okay. So Would have been a smart yeah. thing to do. Right. But- You, you were know, like alert level, like DEFCON 2. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't You were just trying to get to where you need to go. Though. <laughs> yeah, but you I didn't like, even care. Like, I, these yeah. fools what? You know what I mean? Like, right. what? So either way, so so we go, and then, uh, you know, still having little, little looks back and forth or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not going to bow down. They're not going to bow down. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. But they cut off onto Grant. I'm like, oh yeah, I could go that way too. <laughs> oh, I could shit. go that way too. That's not out of my way. Five way intersection, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thirty fifth and Grand. It's the five way. Oh yeah, right. that's right. It's a wild intersection. That's crazy. <laughs> so my other homie that was sitting passenger, we're five deep. The... There's three in the back, and then I'm in. A, I'm in an eighty four Grand Prix. So there's three in the back, that's and then me and my homie in the front, and then so so we get to the light right there, bam. And he's saying something about the other car. There's like a little central or something in in the, in the front. Okay, so they're together. I didn't know they were together. Oh, shit. And he's looking Two at cars. me. So, so yeah. So I'm like eating my hot Cheetos. He's looking at me like, what, fool? I'm cocky, like chewing on my Cheetos. Like, what, fool? And then I look back, I, I smile, I smirk, and I tell my homie something. He says, whatever. But I'm digging under the seat for my straw. Oh, shit. Yeah. So oh, I, I didn't even know what. Yeah. So this fool, I look, yeah, I look over. Boom, he pulls, it, he pulls his strap out like that. Broad daylight. It's broad daylight. Like, what fool? Oh, you know what I mean? Like, Cheetos, bro. Yeah, that fool, that fool. Pop, pop, pop. But so I look, boom. <laughs> like, like everybody's ducking. Whoa. Like, dang. Even the car in the next back. lane over. Yeah, next lane. over. I mean, that's that's close. That's like six, seven feet. I mean, that's uh, nothing, yeah. dude. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the passenger window. Nah, well, the window's down. Oh, the window's down. The, oh, yeah. Jesus. So even the car in the back, that Regal, they start busting from the back too. Oh. So they they shot at me at least like 16, 17, 18 times. You know what I mean? Like it was it was, it was a lot of shots. Wow. And you had four guys in the car? Five. Five? Five. Jeez. Did I'm anyone the, get hit? I'm the only one that got hit. I'm What'd the you get only hit? one that got hit. I got hit in the chest and in the arm. Shit. Wow. Yeah, Whoa, shot, do you know what it shot, was? It was a nine. Nine, damn. Yeah, so it was a nine. Not a 22, though. No, no, no. <laughs> <not a> 22. <laughs> no, he lit me Ain't up. Ain't a 45, but it's a nine. Yeah. You feel that. <laughs> yeah, he lit me up. He, he, he tried to take me out the game, but you know what I mean? I'm a survivor. Man, Couldn't that's do it. crazy, dude. Twice. <laughs> Yeah, got hit in the arm and in the, the chest. The fact that they were coming at you from the side and the and back. The back. Yeah. That's some crazy. Grand Theft Auto shit. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Survival wow. of the fittest, man. Wow. Right there at Grand Ave, too, right at that intersection. Yeah, 35th. Yeah, it is, it's a little wild out there. So Maybe even at Alaskan that. Alaskan Bushco. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. What's your pal? It, 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 it's like a, a wash house now, but it, it was it used to be a jack in the box. Because even at that, the homies are like, go, go. I'm like, I get up and I'm like, like, not get up, but I'm like, I can't, bro. Like. I'm I'm hit like yeah like I'm hit like I'm kind of like in shock sure. like 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 I, I don't feel too much pain or nothing at the time but it's like I'm hit you know what I mean so then I try to put it in and uh, actually it was in drive so I'm I'm going a little bit I can only drive just a little bit and then I put it in park and the homie went around from the passenger they scooted me over and then he jumped in the driver bam put it in drive and shoo, took off and then they they're like hey what hospital do we take him to what hospital do we take him to I'm like, bro, there's a phone right there. Call 911. There's a pay phone. And I mean, don't don't try to take me to the hospital. Just call 911. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, wow. It is what it is. Wow. So then, yeah, he he went over the uh, the medium and the curve. Oh, everything. Shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right next to the pay phone. And then wow. you know, the funniest <laughs> thing is this is hilarious. This is though. crazy. Yeah, this fool comes, he, he goes to the pay phone, he comes back. I need 50 cents. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's 911. You don't, Dude, you don't you need no, no coins. <laughs> I said, but there's a there's an ashtray full of coins if you need them. <laughs> yeah, just call the fuck. Yeah, just call. Oh man, That's I funny. hope I'm not getting too personal. What? But so please feel free to not answer. What's going through your mind when you realize you're hit? Like I don't. I mean, that's something. That's something that's so far removed. Like I'm a shooter. I love. I'm a. I'm a gun owner. Uh -huh. I. You know. I'm. I'm into self defense. But that it stops and ends there. You know. I was never in the military. Or anything. I've never been in a shootout. I'm at least aware of it. I can't even imagine. But that's so far removed from most people's conscious. Like of like getting shot. What is that like? Like what goes through your head? What does that feel like? Good question. Um. The first thing that you you look down and you're like, okay, 
you like you said you didn't feel pain right uh, there's situation assessment not good for the sake of what well first of all it's like I've been in other situations already. Like I've already, you know, shot at people. You know, I mean, been okay. shot at. So okay. it's like this wasn't nothing. So wasn't, out this of wasn't the, the initiation. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you know, what I mean, like, actually, I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking around like, just me? God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not. At, well, I didn't know at first. So, so it's like, I'm like, I don't really know what to do. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty on it because I'm like, I, I'm directing them. And like, you're getting asked for quarters, dude. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm directing them, but, yeah. but then it's like. What's going on is like honestly, I just I thought, hey, this is it. Like wow. I'm like I'm done. I just accepted it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this is it. Cause I'm like, I'm like, bro. Cause they 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 came and they start trying to mess with me and pull me out the car, which they did. And, and my homie actually probably saved my life because put he, he yeah he put pressure on and everything. Wow. And like, cause what I was doing, I was, I was fading out. So like everything that you see in the movies, where it's like I started like. I couldn't hear like people talking started sounding like Charlie Brown's parents yeah, right, and like, right, yeah, yeah, that's like, real. Huh? Yeah. So I was wow. like, I, I felt like I was just fading out and, and that was it. And I'm like, you accepted it. Yeah. I was just like, Hey man, just, Hey, just, it is what it is, bro. It's wow. like, like I'm like, I'm done, bro. Like just whatever. Reminds me that guy we me met just... at the casino. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, that crazy. was crazy. We met this guy at the casino that had claimed to have died before. He died mm -hmm. for like, you said a few minutes, man. Made mm -hmm. some crazy bets mm -hmm. and he won them all. He walks off and it, he whispers in my ear, he goes, I knew I was going to win. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Hey, just walked right, like that dude, happened. I was like, okay. Right. Yeah. Dude, won, dude won like, what, a grand? It was yeah, almost he, a grand. Dude, yeah. he, he started out with 25 bucks and turned into a G. Oh, wow, that that's night. dope. So God might have been in that room with us that night. Who knows? Maybe. God's up there like, you're yeah. so seeing me with fucking blackjack at casino. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you, did you guys win though? Oh, we yeah, did. We yeah, we up. actually we don't did. we don't oh, walk shoot, out of casinos yeah. down, dude. It's not there you it's go. just yeah. not in our blood, dude. <laughs> exactly. Hey, there you go. Everybody's getting blessed, right? Not That's a right, band, man. though. Yeah, not That's a right. band. <laughs> right. Speaking of getting blessed, I feel like I know for me growing up, like my dream job, probably if you would ask me when I was like a kid or even like in high school coming up, was to be an actor. And it seems like you've had the opportunity to work on some great things with some great people. Mm -hmm. Um, you've even I mean, I think I saw you've been with Kardashians. Oh, I got some music placements. Got some songs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some song placements yeah. in there. Three I mean, episodes, I think yeah, I saw. Three, like three oh, episodes. That, not just one, dude. That's a that's a big show. How'd yeah, that yeah. happen? You know what? Okay, so same thing. Let's go go back to when I got out of prison. So really, to to be honest, I wasn't really trying to do me. I, I, I dibbled and dabbled and mute like I like I would make little tapes and stuff before I went to prison. You know, what I mean, I was just recording stuff from my hood, or you know, I didn't really take it serious. You know, what I mean, I was back and forth from Las Vegas and doing some other things, but I was coming up off of studio equipment, and I, you know, I had a little drum machine, and you know, I was I was working on music. But when I got out of prison, I was just like, you know, that ain't for me. You know, what I mean, like it's just it is what it is. I'll support the homies doing that or whatever, yeah. but ah, you know, what I mean, I'm good right now. I came across the homie that I was actually trying to work on a little bit of music with before I went to prison, he had a whole CD done. So it's like, oh, you know, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll support you. So I kind of, you know what I mean, started looking more into the business of it because I'm like, I'll support you guys. You know what I mean? Then it's like, well, well, then I'll just do a compilation, like I said, and I'll jump on a song here and there. But then I seen them kind of getting played by the the people that they were working with. And I was like, bro, I got money, dog. We can do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in the, in the middle of all that, I'm trying to learn the business, and I come across these people doing a, uh, they were doing a, uh, like a conference. Okay. It's probably smaller than a conference, but I'm gonna just call it like a conference. Uh, and and they were looking for uh, they were looking for music because they were a music library, hmm. and they were actually based out here. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, I think they had a uh, like Barry Gordy's nephew was there. Like they had oh, a panel. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, somebody with wow. last name Gordy. He was related to Barry Gordy. I so believe. some kind of like talent search thing. It wasn't like really kind of a talent deal, search. It's kind of like a, a seminar, maybe, but okay. com conference. Because yeah, it wasn't like, cool. hey, I'm gonna go and listen. And, and because yeah. they were actually looking for, hey, they they have a music library. If you know what a music library is, they uh, you know, I mean, they they get a lot of placements and stuff yep, like yep, that. Yep. So they were looking for reggaeton. So you know, I mean, I. Did my best at some some reggaeton song. <laughs> that, hey, that that was my my first music check. Really? Oh, yeah, wow. that was my first check from music. Was for those for three songs for that music library. And you know, I mean, they they uh they do a lot of like they would they would put placements and all kinds of big stuff. So I was like, that's cool. So later on, when I started into the acting, 
I'm like, oh yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like I get credits on on other stuff. You That's know crazy. Like, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. I like you. I used to fuck with that reggaeton, a little Wasini Yandel, dude. Some Looney Tunes, yeah, dude. I yeah. used to be oh, all yeah. over that in high school and shit. I it was love a good that. time. I still listen. I love it. Didn't you watch one of the? Uh... Oh yeah, dude. I I haven't finished it yet, but I did start watching Narco Valley, dude. That was cool, man. It was Dope yeah. C Phoenix in a movie like that, dude. <laughs> hey, on Amazon Prime too, right, bro. Right, right, right. That's nothing. Yeah. That's not basic. That's not that's real i mean right. that's incredible how how did that come about like how did you how did you get that i mean you were working with legit like film studios and everything i mean it's a full length feature film dude yes yeah, feature film um with that one it's come around like 2015 i was like kind of like down on the music stuff you know what i mean because a lot of the people i've started to work with they kind of didn't you know what i mean like they didn't have the energy and they didn't put their all into it you know what i mean it's like they probably wanted to do it, but they had other situations or, you know, whatever. Just all my, everything happens for a reason, I guess. You know what I mean? So all my, you know what I mean? Like pushing and pushing and investing is like these guys kept falling off or not. You know what I mean? They they just got other agendas. You know what I mean? The harder you work, the luckier you get. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like, I, I'm pretty much like to the point where it's like, you know what? I'm going to do something big. And if it don't work, then, you know what I mean? I'm good. But if it if it works, then you know I'm, I'm gonna run with it. So, so I was thinking of like doing a a, a big feature. You know what I mean like a big feature record. You know what I mean go hard with it, and you know see see what comes about it. And and if nothing comes about it, then you know what I mean I probably just kick back. You know what I mean I will do it as a hobby or something. Sure. But you know what I mean just you know what I mean like whatever. Um, and then it's like we had did car shows and stuff with Capone in like about 2007 2008, and uh. I came across some of his people and I was like, you know what? He's a good businessman. I'm going to tap in with him and then maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe he could link me with somebody because I was already had talked to uh, another uh, another guy that he was doing promotions and stuff like that. And I had had already thought about doing a song with YG because he had connections to YG. Oh, wow. wow. So yeah, Capone had a song that he was going to be releasing that had uh, DJ Mustard on the beat. So I'm like, okay, so... You know what I mean? Uh, those two connections to YG, and I'm like, man, I think YG would be a big record. Oh, man. So even though he was getting a little bit more pricier than he was, like, way, way back when, you know what I mean? Tooted and booted with yeah, Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> back then, when I passed on the opportunities when Before people Before Big Bang. Yeah. Yeah, when people people were, uh, you know what I mean? Like, they presented certain situations. So, hey, man, you want to... You want to try to do this or that, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? There's like Tyga, YG, a lot of these fools before they really blew up, you know what I mean? Like, the heavy hitters, like, yeah. yeah, like ended up, but they were still, if you were in the know, they, they were, were within they arms were the, reach. Yeah, they yeah. were right there. They were accessible, yeah. 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 But still blown up. So, you know what I mean? So I started chopping it up more with Capone and then, uh, then it's like, okay, hey, we're going to do a record. Let's see what's up. Maybe we'll do another record, uh, get YG on there and, you know. We'll do this and that, you know what I mean? See, see what we could do. And then then I, I threw the idea out there. I'm like, hey, well, check it out. I'm trying to do some movie stuff, so would you be interested in that? And he was just like, nah, I never did no movie. He said, but you know what? Check it out. What I will do with you is we can do like an extended version of, uh, of a video, hmm. kind of throw some acting scenes in there and stuff. I'm like, okay, that's dope. That's oh, yeah. dope. I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah. And, and you bring up Ty Dolla Sign. Actually, on the song Get That Paper... <laughs> Get that paid. That's that's the original person that we wanted to do the hook. Get out of here! Yeah, no yeah, we were, oh, dude, he was, he was a man. He was uh, Drake was on another level at that point, but he had retired from Captain Hook at that point. But Ty Dolla Sign was Captain Hook at that time, dude. He was. Yeah, he, he was. He wasn't. He, he was. Was he as huge at that time? It was about 2015. That's when he was starting to blow up. Right, like. right, right. Yeah. But we still yeah, could. it would have been right. It was right around that. Yeah, because he, he started doing 14, shit with like 15. Taylor Gang stuff, and then at yeah. that point too, I feel like yeah, probably because we were we weren't capable of capitalizing off of that. He was on Smokebox. That song, that, that song with the weekend was the one that did it. Uh, oh, or okay. nah? Yeah, that yeah, was, that or was nah. what took yeah, him. Yeah, that was yeah. what took him crazy. Yeah, so we didn't yeah. end up getting Ty Dollar for the hook, and plus he might not have. You know, what I mean, like went well with the video the or, you know what I mean like you know because we were trying to do the extended video and all of that so so we did that and then uh you know what I mean I st- I was still interested in the movie so I you know what I mean I, I you know I talked to Capone about it he's just like I never did a movie though you know it has value it would be my first movie and I'm like hey I know this, this yeah, is yeah part of the reason why I want to do it yeah you know what I mean uh and then finally it's just like like uh he, he was like you know what uh straight out of Compton came out yeah. 
and after we we dropped the trailer, <laughs> yeah, we dropped the trailer for uh the the little mini movie. We called it a mini movie. Yep. Get that paper mini movie. After we dropped that trailer, you know, it looked dope and everything like that. Kind of just got got the uh got it going. You know what I mean? So then straight out of Compton came out, and then he's like, he hit me. It's like, mm. you still want to do that movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that motivated a lot of people yeah, to want to awesome. tell their story, man. Yeah. So so then then we just made it happen. Man. We just made it happen. Incredible. Cool. You mentioned you like when before this all started, you were like, man, I'm just gonna do it big. Like mm -hmm. I got a big idea. Uh, in the movie, there's a scene when I think you're at your homie's grave there, and you're like, "Hey, man, I'm doing something big." Like, is there was there any inspiration there for that, or no? Like, were you? Nah, not necessarily. Okay. You know, what I mean, it was just like going going along with the with the story. You know, what I mean, like like yeah. pretty yeah. much like the character is somewhat based on reality, but not reality. Mm -hmm, like okay. different circumstances and situations, but you know, what I mean, it's like. I'm playing myself here. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's why it kind of came a little easy. Yeah, you know it came I mean? naturally. Like, yeah. Like I've lived this life. You know what I mean? Like this ain't nothing new to me. It's not, it's not difficult to play this guy. You know what I mean? Like it's me. You know it. Right. Yeah. yeah. You flush it down the sink like that in the opening scene there? <laughs> I never, I never, that was intense, dude. That opening never, scene's intense. Yeah. I never did that in real life, but. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I definitely had it in mind. That's why you, you know, you, if worse comes to worse, this is what's going down. Oh, <laughs> yeah. dude, I, just, I was telling Dom, if you ever need a, a, a crooked uh, Caucasian DEA agent, dude, I'm your guy, dude. <laughs> hey, I'll, slap, I'll strap the DEA vest on and get in there. Never know, man. We, we, hey. I'm open. Yeah, I'm open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Mike could use you. Yeah. 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 Sounds Michael like a plan. Chess on him, dude. <laughs> man. So definitely want to get into the music, hundred um, percent. But before we kind of really go into the music, uh, you're currently on tour. Oh man, technically I've been on tour since 2019. Really, talk, <laughs> talk to us about it. I don't. Right? I don't think I've been off tour since oh uh, COVID. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? So you had to take a break then. <laughs> yeah. But you've been going hard since 2019. Yeah, pretty much. Like that's wow. that's when I first started doing shows out of town. I believe I might have did like something here or there before that. But yeah, I mean like like Capone offered like hey. Like you, you want to roll? Let's let's go. Let's do it. Wow. So I'm like, let's go. So you know what I mean? Like like after that, you know, we just back to back shows after shows after shows. Lighter you know Shader I mean? Brown and Dina Howard. Oh, yeah. last night. That was last night. That, that's what For I'm real. saying. Last I, night. I saw that. So I mean, just to be in the presence of some of those music legends, man, what's that like? Oh man, it is it, it's dope. It's it's really dope because some of these people is like people that I grew up listening to. Mm -hmm. So so even take this for for instance, Loonies. Loonies. Come on, man. Bro, I, I got to, five. I on got it. five on it. Bro. Like these are yeah these these are these are moments that is like like it's really it's really cool you know what I mean it's really cool I don't get starstruck or nothing sure you know I mean because sure. they're, they're a like full circle yeah moment. they're yeah they're regular people yeah but the the magnitude of it is really dope though yeah you know, it's really dope because it's like if I was the younger me like you know you know, out, you know yeah you know how dope this would be because <laughs> yeah. these are these are the people that I grew up listening to so so check this out which is which is a dope a really dope moment for me. It's like Spice One is like one of my favorite artists growing oh, up, right? And I I know Spice One now. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, I've been knowing him for a little minute. You know what I mean? Like we're not super tight or anything, but I, but I've been knowing him for a minute, and we're cool. And he's a really cool guy. And uh, it's like so even I like like last night on his performance, everything kind of went a little bit uh, messed up at the end because he couldn't get his show set going or whatever. And for some reason, they kicked on the lights. Because Adina Howard was done and it's like Spice still didn't perform. Oh, so man. so a few people left, but I still I jumped up there on the stage with them and we rocked. Like I know all That's of his sick. stuff. I know yeah, all yeah, of his yeah. stuff. <laughs> so it's like easy hype man job. Like let's like it. it's let's like go. And he's, he's even rocking it like like he's like, yeah, like let's get it, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. So to me, like that was like super dope. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, man, strap on the side, uh, trigger got no heart. You see the menace to society over there. Oh, yeah, you know I mean? dude. like like, as a matter of fact, he was supposed to play old dog in that movie. Spice Wait, One? What? Spice Get one was, the fuck yeah. out. Yeah, look at the character. Look yeah, just like Spice One does. back in the day. Hey, Spice One just had that, uh, where he uh, he said he he did a song to the Annie Are You Okay? Have you seen yeah. that? Oh, we performed no, that. I haven't we seen performed that. Dude, you, that. Annie, you're okay? Yeah. Maybe you haven't seen that? No, I haven't Dude, seen he, that. He, it was, he was getting interviewed. I don't know if it was on a podcast, but he made up a different song, and it was like... He oh, was, I've been cruising with the homies. Yes. The West Dude, it, it was, was sick. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. that was, you fire. guys performed that? Yeah, we performed that last night. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. He killed dun, dun, that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, are you okay? Yeah, man. Legendary stuff. 